Three, the Kenyan government plans to effect the agreement, but this has attracted an outcry from Tax Justice Network, which says the agreement is a loophole for tax evasion by multinationals. Mauritius is a tax haven and charges low rates of income and withholding taxes, as well as not charging capital gains tax. The plan by Kenya to implement the double taxation agreement therefore means that multinationals have a choice to pay tax either in Kenya or Mauritius so long as they operate in both countries. The low rates charged by Mauritius therefore makes it attractive to multinationals and Tax Justice Network fears the law is not diverse enough to curb exploitation. Many Kenyan companies have in the recent past been registering their subsidiaries in Mauritius in a move that observers say is meant to lower their tax obligations. The lobby group cites the example of India which signed a similar treaty with Mauritius which resulted in annual revenue losses of up to 53.4 billion shillings and is now working towards revising that agreement. In the petition before High Court, the tax lobby accuses Attorney General Gido Mugai of misleading the cabinet by saying that the agreement does not need parliamentary approval. The case is set for hearing on 14th of next month. Charles Gitonga, KTN.